Today we present Which valve to open first when installing a split air conditioner? Let's start by saying that a split system has two valves located on the outdoor unit or condenser. Now, taking into account that the factory equipment has all the refrigerant gas in the condenser unit, it means that by opening these valves and having the pipes connected to the indoor unit, the gas will reach the entire system. We must remember that when the unit is in operation, both valves are located in low-pressure pipes. Since the thicker valve is located in the pipe that receives the gas from the evaporator, low-pressure point located at the outlet of the evaporator, and the other thinner valve is located in the pipe which is located just after the capillary tube, that is, after the expansion, low pressure point, towards the inlet of the evaporator. So we must say that the thin pipe, because it is before the evaporator, is the liquid pipe. And the valve or thick pipe, because it is after the evaporator, is the vapor or gas pipe. Which valve to open first when setting up the air conditioner, before turning it on for the first time? It is recommended to open the thinner valve first, this way it allows the refrigerant gas to flow through the system in a controlled manner. In this case, when the thinner valve is opened, the capillary tube would control the flow of refrigerant gas leaving the evaporator. In contrast, when the valve of the thicker pipe is opened, the refrigerant may suddenly drag part of the lubricant, which is located in the compressor crankcase, and deposit a portion of oil in the evaporator. This occurs because the exit of the refrigerant through the thicker pipe, or larger valve, is not controlled by the capillary. So the best way is to open the thin valve slowly first. This prevents the loss of compressor oil to the discharge line, and out of the liquid line. However, we must indicate that it is unlikely, that enough compressor oil will actually be lost to cause any damage by slowly opening the liquid line. However, any oil that the compressor loses has a long way to go before returning to it. The other problem is that the loss of oil in those first moments of the life of a new system can have lasting effects on the operation and longevity of that compressor.